Howdy, Possum Patty here, and it's Flip Through Friday. And which journal am I going to pick today? And now for a very special Friday flip through of In the Haunted House, my Halloween journal. I think this is from two years ago. I can't believe it's been that long already. But I made the cover. This is just some cardboard. And I did use some images from a children's book called In the Haunted House. So the cover is multiple layers of just black gesso the cover from that book, some cheesecloth that I painted black because I didn't have any creepy cloth at the time. And on here, I put a picture of one of the old houses that I lived in that was really haunted, but I'll tell that story another day. Over some of this orange plastic mesh that the tangerines come in, and I put two of these little plastic trees. I think they were like part of something, like when you buy flowers, plastic flowers, you can pull the flowers off. And the stems kind of look like little trees. Put some green glitter on those. This is on some purple felt. Up in this corner, I have some more of that orange mesh. And a black plastic spider, probably from the Dollar Tree, covered him with some glitter. I think this mesh is from the Dollar Tree, too. It's like black mesh with some silver spider webs on it but I added a little gold jewel in the center of each spider web and down here and I was looking for these and they're not selling them this year or I haven't been able to find them this year they had these beautiful purple and black flowers with these eyeballs in the middle and I added a little green glitter around the eyeball the flowers came already with the purple glitter on them this was a blast to make and on the spine has two signatures and on the thread this is waxed wax thread i used to sew the signatures in i have some sugar skull buttons and just random beads in green and orange whatever to match the cover and more of that cheesecloth painted with black gesso on the back i have a picture of another old house that i lived in and this is words from the back cover of the book in the haunted house. In this house where the scary ones hide, open the door and step softly inside. Some more spider webs from that mesh with some big jewels on them. Just this creepy cloth and black gesso. Just having tons of fun, very kinesthetic here. Lots of fun things to touch and feel. Lots of texture. It's quite chunky. Only has two signatures. Oh, and these cats that are flying around here. These are those wooden cats, I believe, from the Dollar Tree. Painted with black gesso. And I took these green sequins and just cut it in half and made the eyes. And it's on a gift bag handle. And there's one in the front, one in the back. But they wind up all over the place. Okay, let's see if I can get this under the camera here. On the first page, I have a black crochet doily with an eyeball to hold it closed. And you open it up, and there's a pretty scary picture. And this is a funny story. This was in, I think this was in high school. And we were told to draw a picture of ourselves, do a self-portrait. And I started drawing a picture of myself, oh, and I hated it. It came out really, really, really bad. So I deterred, decided to turn it into whatever this is. Um, so I thought that was funny. And these are little, like, flocked spiders, and I don't even remember where these came from. Oh, and I put down here the author. Oh, that's funny, because this was supposed to be a self-portrait. And the end paper is just some black cardstock and some mulberry paper over here and use this eyeball to keep that closed 
Wish I can find these eyeballs because they're flat on the back. I only found the round ones so far this year. So I decided to put, this was a card somebody gave me. I think it was a birthday card. And I thought it was so funny. I, actually, I think this is from my son. Anyway, a little girl picking her nose. And this was from a different card, um, Charlie Brown card. It's Halloween and I want you to know that I think you're the sweetest pumpkin in the whole patch. He's got a little glitter shirt. And these are just some circles I cut off of this ribbon. It's like a black mesh ribbon with these glitter circles. I thought it was a lot of fun. Halloween colors, purple and green and orange. And this is a pocket. And because this card was from my son, I put this picture of him when he fell off the monkey bars at the playground. He didn't get hurt, he was fine. And then I had this uh, paper with his old fashioned jack-o'-lanterns. I used that for the frame around. And on the back, celebrate your birthday with your usual style and grace. That's what's inside this card. That was the saying, it's from my son, Jesse. Added a little pumpkin there. I thought it was a lot of fun. I got some neon green paper in the background here. And I sewed this on with some zigzag stitching. Very fun to touch. And this one, it says help here. And these are the plastic window clings. I think from the Dollar Tree. And I put them in this plastic packaging here and I put a picture of me with a witch's hat and my son probably middle school because that's the age they like to dress up like this right with a little axe and it just says help and this is a lot of a lot of fun I was trying to figure out how to put window clings into my journal and I just took out the back paper and left them in the packaging and just did I sew this on or glue it on? Well, I think I just glued this right on there. So yes, I put everything in my journals, including window clings. Now this is for October. It's an old calendar from 1985. This is one my father printed up, I think when he worked in the print shop. And some more of that mesh, but this one has a beautiful gold shiny stars, uh, stars leaves on it. I call these kind of leaves tree stars because if you put two together it looks like a star. Anyway, so this was October 1985 and October is my sister's birthday and it's also Columbus Day and here my sister is standing with, wait for it, Christopher Columbus. You got it. And this is a picture of one of Columbus's ships. And we got some pumpkins on this page. So this is from a uh, pumpkin bread mix from Trader Joe's. And in the back was just a picture from a magazine of a spider web with the dew on it, nice and sparkly. And a pumpkin. I drew this pumpkin on cardstock and cut out a picture, picture of Charlie Brown. And on the back is a picture of my son who looks kind of grumpy there. Happy Halloween, that's from the Charlie Brown card and some more glitter, because I'm always into so much glitter. I think I added extra glitter to the shirt too. And a shaker card, my son and my niece, and I have those little shiny maple leaf sequins in there. And this is just sewn around with some plastic packaging. I put a eyelash trim on there. Oh, and on the back, me and my son when he was a baby and my ex there. And do I put pictures of my ex in my journal? Yeah, why not? Because hopefully someday this will go to my son and he'll appreciate having his dad in here. And this page I made a very large pumpkin and this is painted with watercolors. And this is a blurry photo of my son when he was a baby. But I like it because his face is lit with the 
candlelight coming from inside the jack-o'-lanterns. Jack so this is always kind of one of my favorite. Sometimes I like to make these shape pages like this, especially pumpkin. Pumpkin's easy to do. And on this side, I painted the pumpkin a different color. On this side, it's painted green, and it has those little warts on them. Because some of those pumpkins now, they have those little funny warty things on it. And this is this orange mesh, two layers of orange mesh. And inside is a little booklet with this pretty purple ribbon that probably came on a box of chocolate or something. And this is that technique where you take a brown paper bag and you crumple it all up and you paint it to look like faux leather. And I gave it just a little bit of a purple shine to it. I think there's a video on these pages. I'm not really sure. There might be. So this opens up into three. And I have my shaving cream inky backgrounds here. My son picking a pumpkin. My son when he was a baby and we're cutting a jack-o'-lantern out. And of course my son in middle school when boys that age like to do those kinds of things. And this is just made on a paper bag with these pieces put in and some black paper for the frames. And I did put a, use my crocodile to put an eyelid on here to put the ribbon through and just wrap it around and tie it. I have that wrapped around twice. Okay, I'll figure that out after, <laughs> I guess. Oh, this is the year I went and did gravestone rubbings, and I have several videos on this. And this is the actual headstone from a graveyard, and it's got this face on there, and this is rubbed with crayon, I think, black crayon, and then I sprayed it to fix it, and it's on some purple paper, and this is a pocket. I got two thumb holes here. I got some purple ink down here, and let's see what's in the pocket. Ooh, coming out of the pocket, the Dollar Tree skeletons. I got white on black and black on white, and I have my little eyelets and my black ribbon and on the other side black and white photos black and white photo of my son in florida and a black and white photo of one of my nieces also in florida and so there's two cards and that's why there's two thumb holes here put them back in the pocket and on this side, we have some Halloween fun. There's some more pictures of my son in that costume. I don't know why I have so many of that, but I do. Some mesh with some black fuzzy spots on it. And this is a book, um, excuse me, this is a page from the book with Frankenstein on it. And I stamped around with some uh, ink or paint around the edge. This is neon green paper. And there's my clock, and it's the American Robin O'Clock right now. And this is an exhibit that my artsy friends and I went to in Pennsylvania at the Brandywine Museum. And they were getting ready for a big Halloween gala, so we got to see all their decorations. There's a Frankenstein there. And this is a postcard from, whoops, where is she? My friend Sheila right there, she's an artist and this is some of her artwork. And this is another postcard with her artwork on it. And this is just from her. So my Frankenstein things go in this pocket. And over here, I took another card that was given to me. It says, people say you've been acting strange lately, but I defended you. I put some of that fun ribbon, meshy ribbon with the sparkly dots. Reminded me of these balloons on the card. 
some green paper and some black paper and this is another pocket and you pull it out and this is very cool this is a picture of me with a green face and it's hard to see but I painted a dragon on my chest by looking in the mirror I got my witch's dress on and on the back it said where it says over here, but I defended you. I said, you're not acting. My sister, always be yourself, be happy. I thought that was funny. Always be yourself, be happy. Okay, I'm going to stop right here for a second and change my battery. Okay, if you hear some background noises, that's just Mr. Possum playing the radio very loudly out in the garage while he's working on something. Okay, this was a fun pocket. I had some of that military scrapbooking paper. And this is a Tim Holtz background, I believe. And I have a picture of my brother sitting in a helicopter in Vietnam. He was a helicopter mechanic in the Vietnam War. Here he is in front of his barracks. Notice all the sandbags around the barracks in case they got bombed. And then I made two dog tags, put his name on there. I painted these silver and I put the stickers, the letter stickers on. And just some stars on the back and just one of those little chains. So this is his army picture and decorated with some faux dog tags. Put a nice rippy edge on this, some distressing. And here's some more of that military paper. And a picture of my brother, my father, and my stepmother. This is from March 1968. Brother was in the army. On this page, I did a wonderful layering of lace, some sparkly ribbon, and another grave rubbing. And in this pocket, I have something something all wrapped up I distressed this paper with watercolor and I printed out the information about the cemetery where I did the grave rubbings so this tells about the old cemetery so I'll tie this up after and then this is another pocket, and in the pocket is a sugar skull that I decorated to look like Frida Kahlo with the eyebrows and the mantilla, little button over there. And on the back is just a fun picture of my mother's best friend from when she was 16 years old and her husband, it's Helen and Stu. And on this side, I have a page from the book. I have some of that ribbon. I made a ruffle. I did some stamping around the edge. I put a little eyelet and a purple. And it says, an organ is playing a funeral air. It's playing and playing, but nobody's there. But you can see a little record player there. This is a cute page from the book. And on the inside, I put a picture of my sister playing the organ when she was very young. So that is all about her organ. On this side, I have another page from the book and some very wrinkly paper. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a page from the book. And I always love this picture. I don't know why, but somebody on the front porch had this antique, very vintage baby buggy and all the bears and dolls were dressed up for Halloween. I thought that was so cute. She had the witch's hat on. So I put this picture from the book with the witches in the background, another sugar skull. These are from the Dollar Tree and just a cute picture of my niece on the back with her sunglasses on. And I tried another shape page here. This is the back of the pumpkin. Oh, this one is supposed to be a candy corn. And um, <laughs> there's some more of those flock spider stickers. 
I haven't seen those this year. This one's got red jewel eyes. And I put here um, some packaging from hemorrhoid cream. And in this pocket is a picture of an X. Because, you know, X's can be a pain in the bottom. And just did some stamping on here. Some more of those flock spider. Yeah, I really like these. I haven't seen them, though. And I used the, the mesh there like a tag on here. Another one of those spiders. My X on Halloween party. Somebody's house. And me and my X. Dressed up for Halloween. And this side has the candy corn. Boy, I used to like to tie things up. I gotta remember to do that in my journals now. It's good to look through your old journals and see what you used to do. So this was my piece of candy corn under here that I painted. And I have some more of that spider web. I picture my son wearing his father's shoes with his little sailor outfit on. And here's a picture of him. He was taking karate. And this is a fabric flip with some pumpkin ribbon at the top. And some characters from um, Hershey in Pennsylvania, Hershey's Amusement Park. Hershey's World of Chocolate. On this page, I made a pocket from an envelope. You can see the little window there and some of that black mesh. And inside is a card. And I decoupaged a napkin of some witches, like a vintage picture of some women dressed as witches. And it's hard to see, but in this little window of the envelope is a picture of my one of my sisters dressed up as a witch. And I have my two of my nieces dressed up as witches for Halloween. They're all grown up now. It's old pictures. And on the back is some music that says, See the old witch. See the old witch fell in a ditch. I made a nice pretty bow with this mesh. I have some more fall ribbon here, some Tim Holtz paper. And this is from a brochure from Art Exhibit by Frida Kahlo. Love this picture. And you open it up and there's a nice jungle. And there's a picture of me and a black cat in the jungle there. And oh, I have some pockets here. And this is a self-portrait. Frida Kahlo did. This is a self-portrait I did with funny colors. And this is another Frida Kahlo painting. This is from the brochure that's on the back. I'll show you the inside pocket in a minute. Okay, this is from a journal page, Channeling the Inner Frida. And I painted myself as Frida Kahlo with my little Frida Kahlo dress on. I actually have this dress. Here's me holding the brochure. And I put a picture of a heart that I sketched while I was at the cardiologist. And because she did a lot of painting about her uh, physical condition after being in a severe accident, which almost killed her and uh, confined her to a bed, I decided I would be free to Kalo sketching about my medical condition, medical condition at the time. And in the pocket, I don't know, miscellaneous stuff. What's this? Um, just a letter from 1975 from my little sister. Random stuff. Tickets to the Frida, Frida Kahlo exhibit. This was in 2008. And there's a picture of me in my Frida Kahlo dress. And a picture of Mr. Possum dressed up as a pirate in her old Corvette, which we don't have anymore. Those were in here. And this was all folded up and in this pocket. And here's a 
box of cinnamon donuts, gluten free. I use that make a pocket. Got some fun pictures on the inside, some of that mesh, green paper in the background. And these are just old Halloween pictures. I had a Halloween party for my students at my house and they came all dressed up and their parents did. And we did donut eating contest. You have to eat the donut off a string. And we had some of my students, some of my Japanese students. And this was another Halloween party. Again, with the eating the donuts off the string. That was my sister, my brother-in-law, my mother, and my friend's friend. I think her name was Susan. Whoops. And this is one of my sisters and her boyfriend. And she was dressed as a football player, and he was dressed as a cheerleader. It was really funny. Just some fun old Halloween pictures. I used a ribbon to make tags. I did a little sewing on these. And this was a really fun page to put together. I made multiple layers of paper and colored it to look like a cave with uh, stalactites and stalagmites. Here, a picture of my son, a book page from the haunted house back here with the bats. So it's kind of supposed to look kind of look like a bat cave. And then down here at the bottom is an envelope window and a picture of my cat peeking through. And a little pumpkin down here. My kitty peeking. This is a book page I painted around the edge. And Dracula in the bathtub. Picture of my son in the bathtub. Just ripped off the picture. Stuck it on there. One of these little bats. Came from a garland. And I did a Wizard of Oz page. Did a rainbow stamp. This was a postcard I got from somebody... Oh, I think it was from the dentist. We're really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, I think that was from the dentist. Put some of that really fun rainbow rickrack on there. Of course, another pocket. I have this nice rainbow paper in the background. My son with his rainbow suspenders. And a picture of the campground with a rainbow. I think I put this in the other journal. And some of that rainbow rickrack. And this is a picture of... Not, not Mr. Possum. This is my ex, my stepdaughter, my brother, and my friend dressed up as the characters from The Wizard of Oz. And they were entertaining the um, residents at a nursing home where my ex used to work. And this is another picture, almost the same thing, except for this one is me as Dorothy. My ex is a lion, my brother is a tin man, and my friend as a scarecrow. So that's my Wizard of Oz page. I forgot all about that one. Here's another shape page. This one is in the shape of a hat, which is hat, with this pretty ribbon with the cats with the green eyes. Nice hat band made out of glitter. And you can see the hat. This is done in watercolors. This is part of a card, and on the back is a picture of a cat I had when I was very young. And it's such a spooky picture that I love it. I mean, it, it came out all fuzzy, blurry, but it looks like the cat is sitting in a spooky mist. They're sitting on the washing machine. In the dark, there sits a cat right beside the witch's hat. So this was taken about 1960, and this is the cat, and he's in the witch's hat. And on the other side of the witch's hat, I painted the sorting hat from Harry Potter. The one that had kind of like a face, the one that used to talk to Harry all the time. Meow, cat's in my seat. Nice sparkly background. Got some shimmery paint on that one. And I have some Harry Potter things on this page. This is from when my niece was born. It's got her all dude up in the Gryffindor outfit here, Gryffindor colors. And this Harry Potter picture is not from the postcard. I added this on here. This is from brochure in the Universal. 
Universal Studios, the Harry Potter um, things. Oh, here's a picture of me with my magic wand, pointing my magic wand. On this side is just a picture of Harry Potter and a frame. And I forgot what came in this little thing here. Probably tickets or something. And there's a picture of, I think that's my nephew, uh, grand grandnephew dressed up as Harry Potter with the little, or did I draw that on there? I might have done that. I think I did that. <laughs> I think I put that little thing on its head so he looked like uh, Harry Potter. And a picture I took at Universal Studios of the dragon breathing fire. And I put these ribbons on that are the Gryffindor colors. I guess if you're into Harry Potter, you understand all this. But my, my niece is very into Harry Potter, and this is her baby. So, of course, it has a Harry Potter. Look at this stuffed owl. It has a Harry Potter theme to it. Okay, we're getting towards the end. I put a lot into each journal. Okay, I have a pocket with that mesh covering it with the pretty gold leaves and this was a Harley card I guess I gave my husband and this is a picture of him with his Harley nice Halloween colors right and there's a picture of me in a black and orange check shirt sitting on the Harley and on the back oh here's some more of the spiders is a picture of my sister, one of my sisters, on my brother's dirt bike. I think that was my brother's dirt bike. Put some ripped uh, paper bag or something in the background. Oh, I used to have this scrapbook paper, that's right, with the spider webs on it. Put a little ribbon on there. Decorate that all up. I need to go in the basement and find some more cards. I love to journal with the cards. And this was a fun fantasy page. I have some mesh with some stars on it and I took some of this yellow tulle and made a ruffle here and this was a card that was given to me for my birthday of a castle and this is actually a science lab that I worked in that looked just like a castle Osborne Memorial Laboratories at Yale University and I used to work in the lab there and then you open it up and it was a pop-up but what I did was put pictures on there this is my son sitting in the auditorium in this building and this is my two stepdaughters with some skeletons behind them that looks like a blob of glue so this is a fun pop-up Okay, on this side, this was the gift bag, and these are the handles with these cats flo floating everywhere. This was an old picture of Mickey Mouse my brother Marty drew back when he was in first grade. And so, you know, we're going to have some Mickey Mouse stuff here. Mickey Mouse with my niece. Just have some dyed graph paper back there. And this is my brother Marty. This was the signature on this picture. And my son Jesse dressed up as Mickey Mouse in the pumpkin patch. Some cloth on the background. And some, another picture of us at the pumpkin patch. Some scrapbook paper back there. And that goes in the pocket. And look at this beautiful page here. This is made out of purple felt with gold bling and green bling and purple bling. This is all stitched together. Unicorn rainbow card So I used to make a pocket. And look at the tag here. Purple felt, glitter circles, bling bling. And this was a card from my friend Monica who has passed away. And this is when Mr. Possum and I got married. I had a purple velvet dress. That's why I put this purple felt there. 
to remind me of my purple velvet dress. And this is a vintage card. Oh no, this is vintage stationery. And it's a story of Sleeping Beauty. And I cut out all the pictures and put them around and put an old picture of my mom in the middle. And this is just from a card that was given to me. I put some purple ribbon and some glitter on there. Put some more with that purple felt. They climbed the clouds and rode the skies, a look of wonder in their eyes. There's a little teddy bears on the flying horse there. And a picture of me and Mr. Possum. Had a goatee that day. And I schmooed some glitter on there. We got some sequin hearts on there. I know this is a Halloween book, but I mash everything into everything. And this is Two Dragons Hugging. This was another card that was given to me. And I think there's another piece. Yeah, this is really funny here. See this bling, it comes out. Now, this is, believe it or not, my son with his blankie. And this is a picture, I'm sorry, this is a piece of this blankie. That was his favorite blankie when he was a baby. And I have this little piece left and I put it on there with some bling. And we've got some circles from that ribbon and on the back. Oh, this is from this card. This card my sister sent me when she found out that I was pregnant with him. And that's what that card is from. So it all goes together. Precious memories. This is an old card. You open it up, and it says, Happy Anniversary to the World's Most Compatible Couple. And I have a coloring book in the background. And this is funny. Why? Because this is her ex. They divorced. This is her ex. They divorced. And this is her ex. They divorced. So sister, 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 ex, 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 brother-in-law. And because if you look at this on the outside, see, she's looking at him. She's got the dagger. She's giving him the eye. She's got the dagger. Most compatible couple. Yep. Everybody's divorced. And inside, this is going to be more X stuff. Sharing together. Loving forever. And I put a big red X on the guy. And who's on the inside? Oh, I'm on the inside. So this is my uh, boyfriend from high school. XXX. And look at this picture. You ever see a bride make this kind of face? Eh, that's me. My ex is my son's father. X, X, X. We got all these exes here. And this is me with another ex-boyfriend. Somewhere. Maine. Canada. So ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, ex-boyfriend from high school. I think that was our prom. That was our prom picture. Ah. The X, the X files. I got a lot of X files. And this is a beautiful picture that my sister did with uh, pastels, oil pastels, I think. And the girl and the boy, sort of like an Arabian dress on a horse, the moonlight, and it says magic of love, and some glitter on there. And I put this sort of black mesh on the top to make it look more romantic, like they're riding through the night. And we have some science fiction here. This is a card that was given to me. It had a Star Trek theme on it. If you're a sci-fi fan, you'll like this page. This is a Star Wars poster in the background. And Friend of the Federation, Star Trek. Star Trek. The only logical books to read. And a picture of my son, 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 son. I love to do these pictures where you cut out the people and you put them all into one <laughs> into one picture. This was supposed to be a scrapbooking page. Uh, this is a car from Doctor Who, if you're a fan of Doctor Who. And my son with his Doctor Who shirt and Doctor Who hat and Doctor Who pen. I think I also had a Doctor Who mug. Yeah, so I cut these off a page I was going to do for scrapbook. So this is my sci-fi page. 
I am a big sci-fi. Oh, that came off. Gonna have to glue that down again. And here's a shape page I did of a pirate map. Now, I, I put these pictures, but I must have doubles of some pictures, because I know I put him in another book. Little pirate stickers here. And this is my map that I drew and painted, and I put a skull uh, compass rose over there. And this is a troll with a hat with a castle on the top. So this is another card given to me from my sister. It says, love the weirdo, but I guess that's from my sister. Page, purple page with lots of glitter and my sister. And she's an artist. She airbrushed this dragon. Very lovely. Scrapbooking paper. Another dragon on the back. Is there something on the inside? Just a card from my sister. I just decorated the back of it. Nice dragon picture. The lady and the bear. Fantasy. Fantasy. <clears throat> and this... Sorry about that. I had a cough. Uh, the Fascinating World of Vampires. This is from a book. And I just made a window, put the vampire bats in the window. And here's that tinsel and the cat that just jumped off my lap steals all these bats and chews them up. Three species of vampire bats on this side and a picture of one of my sisters dressed up as a vampire. That's, that's her ex. That's her with her ex. They don't, my sisters don't like I keep pictures of all their exes. But they're fun to journal with. More information about a vampire bat. Because, you know, I have to have my nature journaling. And a picture of a friend dressed up as a vampire. And my little bat tinsel here. Here's some more of that bat tinsel. And a pocket. Page from the book. A picture of the moon. And I put a vampire bat face on there. And on the back is a picture of my friend's old poster, Frank Langella, as the vampire. That was a good movie. And Starry Starry Night by Van Gogh. And on the back is some more information about bats. I love this. Dark shapes glide through the night sky on silent wings. Their sinister shadows outlined against the light of a full moon. Fun, fun, fun for Halloween. And yay, we made it to the end. I have another gravestone rubbing here. And in the corner, just a little picture of my son with his Mickey Mouse and his little Halloween buddies there from preschool. And I put a one of those Dollar Tree skeletons that just says bye-bye now on the back. Well, thank you for coming along on this haunted house junk journal journey. Until next Friday, bye-bye now.